Hello, everyone, and happy Wednesday. Today I have a new painting for you.、Uh, this one is autumn themed or fall themed.、Um, as the title says, it's a mole enjoying the fresh autumn weather.、Um, First off, right off the bat, here、uh, I didn't really plan my colors, which I probably should have. Looking at this now,、uh, and at the time, I was a bit frustrated.、Um, I dipped my brush into the wrong color here for some reason, and I used—I think this is an ultramarine instead of the almost Prussian blue color that I have in my palette. And、um, but it actually ended up being a happy mistake because this gave the nice, you know, crisp. Clear autumn day、um, color that I was looking for. That it had to be a sunny day, like it was today here in Finland. It was a little bit chilly,、uh, but it was sunny and it was beautiful outside. And、um, I sat watching the fall leaves、um, just falling down to the earth. It was so beautiful, the colors and everything. And that's part of where this inspiration came from. I'd also been doodling. If you guys have been、uh, following Anita. Gatzinska's、uh, 365 Day Sketchbook Challenge, which I have also participated in,、uh, and if you follow my Instagram, you you'll see a lot more posts about that.、Um, I actually did other sketches、uh, for the last two days before that combined. I ended up with the idea for this.、Um, now I've previously done another piece, which you will see in my Facebook albums for my page.、Um, Of a shrew in a similar situation, except that she is at the the deep end of fall, almost into winter, and she's walking around with her lantern、um, in a rainy day or a rainy evening, and it's much much colder.、Um, but I still like the idea,、uh, especially the way that I had composed it with、um, the circle, which contains、uh, the main focus, and then elements like the leaf and the umbrella, which come outside of the border,、um, and I like that. Uh, the umbrella was a bit tricky for me because I wasn't sure what color to do it. Again, I didn't plan my colors, so I just I chose purple and ran with it.、Um, and I'm not too sure if I like it or not. If maybe I should have chose a bit more of a dull color because、um, you'll see once I'm done here with this underpainting that、uh, her clothes are actually fairly bright. So I probably should have toned down the umbrella.、Um, but here, a note about. Underpainting with this when I was trying to do shadows. I don't know if it's maybe the blue that I chose to use for this or what,、um, but it doesn't show through once I use other colors on top. Normally, what I do, and I don't know why I did it differently this time. Maybe I was experimenting to see if I could figure it out. I'm not sure. Normally, what I do is I paint with the colors I want to use first, and then I come back and put the blue on top for shadows. Maybe I should stick to that method. I don't know. And now here I'm going on with the fur. The fur was a mix of the same kind of, well, actually much darker blue,、um, and then、uh, a very dark brown color, which I'm now layering on top of that mixture because I didn't like it was too blue and it was it was fading into the background into the sky. So I decided I had to bring some of the brown to the foreground again and and make her stick out against her background so that she doesn't just fade. I decided I wasn't going to do any other details on the fur. I was going to leave that for、uh, when I use my fine liners, my micron pens at the end. Unfortunately, you won't get to see me do too much detail, as my phone's battery decided to die on me last minute, despite being plugged into the wall.、Um, it just couldn't handle having to film for so long,、uh, and it was still the same deal. I had to cut out every 30 minutes. And then start filming again. So that was very frustrating. But now here is a, a part、um, that I really wanted to do.、Uh, I love patchwork quilts. I wish I had one of my own, but I've never had a reason to have one、uh, before growing up because I I was born in South Africa and lived there till I was twelve. Then we moved to California, which was just as hot. Never really had a fall or a proper winter.、Uh, But I loved those seasons,、um, mainly from what I'd seen on TV and stuff like that, and from traveling.、Um, the fall colors,、uh, the beautiful blue sky in the fall,、uh, when you know the leaves are falling, the beautiful colors on the leaves and the trees, and that just to me gave a such a, a warm feeling with the the patchwork quilt. So I decided to make her a poncho. 
out of patchwork quilt and um, I was fairly happy with it but it here it doesn't look that good because there are no details yet but that comes later with the pen but once I'd done it with the pen I was happier with it but I think that maybe the colors I chose were too bright maybe I should have stuck to three colors and done more of that style I'm not sure again I didn't plan I just I went with the flow in the moment um, plus I'm very tired <laughs> so I just I kind of just wanted to get it over with which was maybe not the best idea because I did like the drawing I probably should have given it more justice with the color choice but um yeah I try to rescue her headscarf which came out too dull I probably should have left it white I'm not sure what I should have done there but anyway the little blue flowers didn't really rescue it it's still too dull but if I'd put more yellow, it would have been too bright. So I just kind of left it and I hoped the pen would rescue it, which it, I don't really think it does. So I moved on and I started to do the skin colors on the mole and then the fall leaf with the beautiful orange and red colors. And um, then after that, I moved on to doing details with the pen. But shortly my video is going to cut out because like I said, my my phone's battery just died and refused to record anymore until I had finished charging it, so... Um, but don't worry, I have the finished result at the end for you guys to see. But that's it for me for today, it was just a quick update, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please comment, like, share, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram, all my links and stuff are at the end of this video, and of course, uh, in my info on uh, my page here on, on YouTube and I really appreciate the support so thanks you guys and uh, I hope you have a great week bye